Um, we also plug in and make the harmonique wines. Um, I don't know if you've, if you've had opportunities to try that, but some of our wine, a couple of our wine club members wanted to be in the wine in industry. He called up and said, I'm really interested in being in the wine industry and I'd like to invest, be part of investing in your vineyard. He said, well, that's a family thing, but maybe I'd like to invest in our wine vineyard. You know, we could use the cash flow. <laughs> this is in 2002. He said, oh, that sounds great. He says, let me look at the books. We came back about three weeks later and said, well, I want to be in the wine business, but I want to make money, not lose money. So <laughs> I'll form another company, and you can be half owners, and we'll have a different name and so forth. And I can sell anything, he said. And he had this big business plan, you know, we'll probably go. Well, selling commercial real estate is not the same as selling wine. It's fun. <laughs> um, we, make, we make wonderful wine, but, you know, it's a tough, in, tough industry. But anyway... Claudia and I make the wines, uh, starting in here at this facility, in addition to what we're doing for ourselves. And as it started to be successful, we started growing, and in 2006, uh, he said, we got to double our production again because it's doing so well. I was like, okay. So that fall, Claudia and I, and we were pretty much by ourselves that year. And we did 78 ton of grapes downstairs in that carport. <laughs> but obviously, the, that was about 200 barrels worth of wine, and obviously we didn't have room. So what I did is after we pressed the wine and sold it, I had an arrangement with Hanley Sowers, and I had all, took all our new barrels down there, and we used a lot of new oak in this. So I called and say, okay, I'm going down, clone 115 from Wiley Vineyard, and I wanted in these, these new barrels from these Coopers and so many neutral barrels. And they, I drive down, put a little tank in the back of my truck, and drive down, and and they have it all set up, and it was really slick. Then I got, then they got to take care of it after that. So, <laughs> but after that, we did in 2006 so that quantity. We just said that's it. We're not going to be partners. We can't do this. Mm -hmm. So we're not partners anymore. But I'm still the winemaker. But we make the wines now. The last couple of years at Lazy Creek, and we'll probably be at Hanley this fall. And so I get to be go and be consulting my maker. And, oh, I can't need to bump those <coughs> two levels on those. I'll be back next week. And <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah. So we're trying to hear the um, elegance. If you want to pass that around, it's, it's all Pinot Noir uh, for the number of years. Now we also make Chardonnay. Yeah. What's the pairing on this one? Is there, is there a pairing for this particular one? Um, or no. we got some more. Uh, but you got some more. I guess we need one more for this wine. wine. When we started this program, actually in 2002, we were going to make just one wine, <coughs> yeah, one Pinot Noir from blending. We started with two vineyards, with some from grapes from our vineyard and grapes from. Um, I looked, did a lot of searching around, and I found out that Brad Wiley down at the, even further down the valley, the Nass, at a real cool spot, had two blocks, small blocks that he had planted in 1984, which is old for our valley. So I contracted to get those, and we made the wines, and the next spring, Claudia and I sat down to do some blending trials and tasted and tasted, and I called the partners and said, um, you have two wines to sell now, because I'm not going to blend them. They're totally different, and we love them both. And stuff from Wiley, from the old, old block, is a very, very delicate, very, uh, a pretty wine, a feminine type of Pinot Noir. And the one from Marvin here with more Dijon clones and stuff was more of a California style, bigger wine. So, so they wanted to come up with a name and they came up with the Harmonica label. And then we called that first wine from Wiley the, the Delicacy, because it was that style. And the one from Marvin here, the Noble one. And so we continued then through the years to go rather than from a vineyard designated to go for a style. And as we and we started sourcing from our vineyards, um, you know, made blending fun because I had, I had 15, 20 lots or more to, mm -hmm. to put together and try to, to see what works with what. And, and for instance, with the delicacy, I found that the older clones that people don't like, like the, the Vonsville or the 2A, because it's kind of a, not a big overpowering wine like people wanted. It doesn't have a lot of carbs and it's perfect for, for very perfumey, very floral. And, and the older blocks, even the old uh, Christine Woods and some old Martini clones, about 20 years old, also fit into that program. 